Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is your main event of the evening. Fighting out of the blue corner, George Mann. And fighting out of the red corner, Yodkampon Sitman Chai. Rebellion is brought to you under the watchful eye of the Professional Boxing and Combat Sports Board of Victoria. Your judges at ringside are Jeb, Rung and Paul Lee. Your doctor is Dr. Chris Barnes, your timekeeper, Miss Joanne Falzon. And when that bell tolls, your man in charge in centre ring, Mr. Bryce Bertwistle. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight comes to you with thanks to the wonderful people at the William Street Gym. Rebellion! Both warriors have now entered the ring. And this is the main event of the evening. St Kilda Town Hall, let's bring the noise. It's main event time. Five by three minute rounds, and they'll be fighting in a 70 kilogram weight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, trained by Darren Reese, Dan Skinner, and the team out of Riddler's Gym with an official weight of 69.8 kilograms. A record of 34 fights, 29 wins, 5 losses, 7 wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Perth, Western Australia, he is the WMC World Champion. He is George Mann. And across the ring, his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, trained by Kru San and Kru Dam out of Sitman Chai Gym in Thailand, an official weight of 69.8 kilograms, 166 fights, 111 wins, 54 losses, one draw, 54 wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Thailand, he is the 70 kilogram top king world champion. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome him to Melbourne. Yotkin Pan Si Manchai! Okay, gentlemen, you're both aware of the rules. You have no questions. Listen to my commands at all times. Protect yourselves at all times, all right? Touch them up now, good luck.
Here we go, round one into the main event of the evening. This is going to be an absolutely cracker fight. Everyone's been waiting for it. Sitman Chai taking on George Mann. Sitman Chai giving up a lot of reach, a lot of height, but bringing so much more experience. Yeah, originally Lewis Regis was matched to fight uh, the odd Sitman Chai, but Lewis has had to withdraw on George Mann. As always, willing to step up. And there's that big teep he's just thrown out. So it'll be interesting to see how Yod counteracts that teep. And look at the power and the style of Sitmanchai. Even Yod with his uh, 166 fights. Both of them look like baby face assassins there in centre ring. Said George Mann, only 19 years of age. Yod catches, beautiful spinning reverse fist. And I tell you what, that was right above us in the commentary position. And I think it was glove on glove, but the, the amount of velocity that Yod had behind that spinning back fist, if it had a caught George, it would have been good night. Georgie Mann just throwing that tape out again and looping left there from Yod Sitmanchai. Back into the clinch. The audience is calling for knees, knees, knees. And of course, over in the red corner, in the Sitmanchai corner, we've got Luca Negriera, who uh, was KO'd by Dave and Penn and Patey earlier on. And let me tell you, his left eye is closed and it's swollen shut. So Georgie Mann back in centre ring now. Just using that teep once again. Big thanks to the William Street gym getting behind this. Main event, Rebellion Muay Thai number 19. Don't forget, Saturday, August the 18th. Rebellion Muay Thai number 20, the return of the weapon Toby Smith and Sam Petch Fairtex as well. It's going to be a cracking Rebellion Muay Thai number 20. 10 seconds down this first round. Beautiful teeth there from George Mann. Good. Yeah, good first round there from both boys. over to the highlights of this main event. Good, strong work there in the grapple from Yod Sipman Chai. And here we go, setting up for the big spinning back fist, which I think George catches on his gloves. But I tell you what, if that had have connected, it would have been good night to George because it had a lot behind it. But George Mann just throwing that teep out. As we said, he stands about 6'6". So I tell you what, he's got the, the height and reach advantage over every fighter going around. Certainly not the experience advantage, though. Yod's just really, really sharp. Let's get back into the action here at Rebellion Muay Thai. It's the main event, round two of a five-round battle. 
Yod taking it up to George Mann. So this is the William Street Gin, Jim Muay Thai main event. So Georgie Mann, just such a, an unassuming fighter when you see him out the back. Doesn't have the build of a fighter, but has got the heart of an absolute warrior. You see George just drop his weight down. He knows if he's not careful, Yod will just take him and drag him to the ground. Beautiful body shot. Goes downstairs, then upstairs, does Yod. You know, Yod just sort of sits back and watches George, and then all of a sudden he just explodes with a, a flurry combination. Such a typical Thai style of fighting. You could hear the Riddler in the corner. He said, left kick, George. And George let it go straight away. So it's great to see that he's listening to his corner. Of course, because we've got uh, George is a, a goofy foot. <laughs> You'd think that he was firing more of those shots off. Into the clinch. Exchange of knees. George getting a little light on his feet there for my liking, Bushy. Yeah, we know the ties excel in the grapple, so he's uh, he's got to keep that really wide base. Nice knee there from George Mann in the grapple. Just kneeing the thigh of, of Yod. Beautiful body shot from Yod. But you can see when they lock up in the grapple, George just drops his weight down and and just opens up his legs wide to really just give himself a really wide base, which makes it harder for, for Yod to take him down. That said, he just did, but that's smart work from George. He's using his height to his advantage there in the grapple. So Yod there attempted an upward elbow, but it's got a long way to go up to, to reach Georgie Man. Yeah, round two, both boys give each other a big smile. Well, this fight brought to you by the wonderful people at William Street Gym. Rebellion 19, the main event. Here we go, looking at the replays, round two of our main event. A lot of grappling in that round, and Georgie Man just, you can see with his height advantage, just dropped his weight right down for Yod, just widening that base. Some good knees there, both boys kneeing to the thighs. And there you see, look at that beautiful technique there from Yod. It just completely elusive. Once again, guys, don't forget, August 18th, Rebellion 20 coming your way. Two massive fighters already announced. Headlined by the weapon, Toby Smith. Seconds out. Round three. So round three, William Street Gym main event, Rebellion Muay Thai 19, George Mann taking on Yod Sitman Chai. Hey. 
Bates, but Nicholas, as we come into this third round, we'll see the tempo really start to pick up. Short crossing elbow there from Yod. Looping left there from, from Yod. Yod's actually finding it hard to get in, obviously, to, to the range of George Mann to try and land one on his chin. George is very comfortable in the grapple as well, as is Yod. Bryce Burt with still separating the fighters. Back into the clinch again. George really trying to keep his weight low. Yod looking for the opening to just swing around and get him down onto the canvas. George just measuring the distance between the two fighters. Yod now moving in. Just had a big jumping, looping punch there from Yod, but uh, wasn't able to land it on George Mann. And Yod's just starting to hunt George down. Oh, nice little left-right combination there before they go into the clinch. Yod nearly getting the takedown. He's just such an awkward fighter, George, man, with that. He just long rangey arms and legs and, of course, the height. We saw the first time he appeared on Rebellion Muay Thai fought... Uh, Alexi Petrullius and Alexi just didn't know what to do with the height and reach advantage that he had. And good work there in the grapple that from uh, George Mann. It's not too often you see a tie get taken down like that from a from a Farang. <laughs> There's that left kick again. He doesn't want to get too predictable with it though, Bushy, because um, Yod will really take advantage. Yeah, much better third round there from, from George Mann. Let's look at the action. Beautiful straight right there from Yod. And there they are in the clinch. Yod just keeping control of George. George trying to keep his weight low, making sure that he doesn't get taken down yet again. Yeah, both, both fighters just looking so relaxed in the grapple. Yeah. And there you have it. Like you said, the tie going down it doesn't happen too often. But hopefully that's going to uh, help George on the scorecard. And just as the round ended, Yod returned the fader. Here we go into round four of the main event of the evening. You're watching Rebellion Muay Thai 19 from the St. Kilda Town Hall. This fight is being brought to you by the team down at William Street Gym. If you want to get fit, you want to have a fight, want to be healthy, get down to William Street Gym. There's that nice uh, left kick there from George. Yeah, you can already see the intentions in this fourth round. Yod is just starting to really stalk George Mann now and just 
lift up the, the tempo just that little bit in the fourth round. George hungers down, trying to lower his weight. Almost into a headlock. Yut, yut, yut. Jump. Yod just keeps moving forward. Yeah, you can see Yod's just got those hands cocked, just waiting for that uh, to get within reach so we can just unload one on George Mann. But George, very smart, just tapping the hands down of, of Yod as he's coming forward, locking up in the grapple right above us in the commentary position. Oh, beautiful oh. elbow there from George Mann. Those slapping knees. Yod, Yod, Yod. And Bryce Burt Whistle get back into the action. Yod. Separate the fighters and move them back into the middle of the ring. Oh, beautiful right hand there from Yod. Good. Oh, and there goes another takedown. Yod just backs away with a grin on his face. He knows that he dominated in that moment. George with that left kick again. Yod returns the favor. George tries to get the sweep, but just has Yod's not having any of it. You know, so George, George Mann is really, uh, really comfortable here in center ring because someone's only had the 34 fights against someone's had 166. You know, George's experience is there, but when you're fighting someone with that amount of fights, he looks very comfortable. Yod gets uh, George down onto the canvas yet again. So certainly that's going to be looking good on the Yod, scorecard, Yod, Yod, Yod. and out they go of the ring. Such is the enthusiasm of these fighters. Back into the clinch, grinding away at each other of these two champions. Yes, Changing yes, yes, yes. knees, Bryce, Burt Whistle back yes. in again. There's that left kick and down goes George for it. Yes. 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 There's only one round left. Yeah, both these boys feeling very confident as they go back into their corners. What a main event so far right here at Rebellion 19. I'm gonna wait till the midnight. Yotman von Sittman Chai, George Mann, goes into the fifth and final round. Here's the action from round four. Yod moving forward constantly. Yeah, both boys always, as they're in the grapple, are always being effective and working the knees. There's a nice little right elbow there from George Mann. But of course, Yod continued to take Mann off his center of access, managing to get him down a few times in this round. And there was nothing George could do. Great sign of respect between these two fighters. This is the final Stop. round of the evening and the final round of the main event of this fight. Yod taking on George Mann. Yod probably up on uh, points. But George has certainly put in a very good showing here. Bushy. Yeah, mate, he certainly can hold Stop. his head high. He's, he's come up against an opponent that's, you know, with 166 Stop. fights. 
And Yod getting a little bit cocky now in centering, just wanting to stand there and trade and just throw the big bombs. But Georgie Mann always brings it into centering. And I tell you what, again, Sai Naji in his matchmaking on Rebellion Muay Thai just continues to, to impress. He brings over, you know, we've got WA versus Thailand. We've had New South Wales versus Thailand. We've had fighters from New Zealand. You know, he he, he doesn't matchmake just to put fighters on the card. He matchmakes good quality fights all the way from the first fight all the way through. Good, good. And we've seen great fights all night, Bushy, as we always good. do at Rebellion. Of course, Rebellion number 20 coming up on Saturday, the 18th of August. Make sure you get your tickets early because we do sell out just about every single show. In fact, I can't remember the last one that wasn't sold out, was she? And of course, a Rebellion Muay Thai, Saturday the 18th of August, number 20. Toby the Weapon Smith back as main event and Sam Petch Fairtex, semi-main event. Don't forget, Sam Petch won that eight-man eliminator a couple of shows back and just absolutely stunned the crowd with his work. So again, Cy Nagy just bringing it to Melbourne. Yacht is smiling. George Mann's corner is smiling as well. This could be anyone's fight. So probably inside the last minute of this fifth and final round, Rebellion Muay Thai number 19. My name's John Fergus. Joining me tonight's been Nick Merritt. It's been a cracking night again Good. here at the St Kilda Town Hall. Good time. Bryce Burt with some calling for time. Checking the taping on Yod's right glove. And that's the dedication of a trainer. Willing to get that filthy, that filthy wrapping into his mouth just to keep the fight going. Yeah, well, one of the cornermen's gone running out the back to get some scissors. The trainer's just leaned over and bit it off. So George, George Mann just been walking forward, spinning back fist there from Yod, missing the mark. And George looking very confident with his hands up in the air. Of course, there is a bit of showmanship about this. And it may, it may, you know, some of the judges might be swayed by that as well. But George is certainly showing a lot of class, a lot of style. <laughs> Yod threatening the right knee. Tries for the sweep, doesn't quite get it. There he is with the right knee. Very impressive looking. And that's it, it's all over. The main event of the evening has closed at the end of the fifth round. You're watching an amazing night of Muay Thai here at Rebellion 19. What a fight. Let's go to the replay, Bushy. Mate, this one's going to go to the judges. George Mann's feeling very confident. i tell you what, Yod Sitman tries. Uh, he certainly earned his pay packet here, flying over all the way from Thailand to take on a long rangey Scotsman fighting out of WA in, here in Melbourne. But I tell you what, it's been a cracking main event, a cracking rebellion Muay Thai. And I'm sure we'll see uh, both of these fighters back here in center ring as well. And there you go. Big sign of respect, the crowd clapping for both fighters. We're gonna collect the uh, judgment and we'll get into center ring very soon to find out who's taken away the main event of Rebellion Muay Thai 19.
After five rounds of action, we've gone to the judges' scorecards. Your first judge scored the contest 48 47 to the red corner. Your second judge scored the contest 48 47 to the blue corner. Your third and deciding judge scored the contest 49 48 to your winner via split points decision. Blue corner, George Mack! to George Mann, a big, big scalp to take here in Melbourne. Commiserations to Yod Sitman Choi. George Mann worked his absolute backside off of that and he was very confident. And two of the three judges saw it the same way as what George did. Congratulations to George Mann on the big stage here, Rebellion Muay Thai.